Will Mountain Dew dissolve black pepper? Now, I don't know a lot about pepper, but what I do know is that it floats around in my salad dressing. And that got me thinking, gross. But also, huh? In this experiment, we're pouring your average table pepper into acidic lemon juice, basic water, and the delicious toxic waste that is Mountain Dew. So which one will dissolve the pepper? And now we wait for destruction. No, wait, why? Will Mountain Dew dissolve black pepper? Last time, we poured pepper into Mountain Dew, water, and lemon juice to see which liquid would dissolve the pepper. So we've been watching and waiting and waiting some more. And uh, funny story, none of them dissolved it. If nobody could tell my boss about this, that would be very cool. So here's the deal. Pepper doesn't dissolve because it's hydrophobic, meaning it's scared of water slides. No, not correct. Sorry, hydrophobic means it repels water. The pepper is still intact. Pepper's molecules are nonpolar and prefer other nonpolar molecules, unlike water molecules, which are polar. Water, you're just not their type. If you saw our oil and soap video a while back, you will know that oil is also hydrophobic. And so are other household ingredients like cocoa powder. Wait a minute, am I hydrophobic? All right, having an identity crisis over here. Can nail polish remover melt styrofoam? Name, acetone, street name, nail polish remover. In this experiment, I'm gonna be dipping these styrofoam cups into this highly pungent bowl of acetone. What do you think's gonna happen? Besides my eyes watering. This is Agent CO2 Mission Control. Yeah, we got a situation on our hands. Um, the cups are yeah, disappearing. Can nail polish remover melt styrofoam? In our last video, we put styrofoam cups into a bowl of nail polish remover to see what would happen. Did you guess correctly? Mission complete, Agent Acetone has removed styrofoam cups from the premises. But how? Acetone is a ketone. As a solvent, it's super flammable in stripping. When made in the body, is an alternative energy source that we use in place of glucose. In fact, our brains and our kidneys always prefer to use ketones. It's like getting the alternative meal option on an airplane. Just kidding, they don't give me meals anymore. Meanwhile, styrofoam is just a cute name for a polymer that's injected with gas to become the lightweight, foamy cups that you see in stores. They're about 95% air, just like the guy who sold me those magic beans. When you place cups into the acetone, it splits up the styrofoam's molecule chain, releasing the air. The cups appear to melt in this physical, not chemical, reaction. The molecules themselves are still there, we just shrank the volume. Honey, I shrunk the styrofoam. How to bend water with a balloon. Move over, Moses, there's a new water bender in town. In this experiment, we are gonna move that stream of water with this balloon. First, let's get this balloon super staticky. And that is how I won best hair in high school. Well, third runner. You wouldn't know from looking at it, but this balloon is now full of element moving magic and one of my hairs. So what do you think is gonna happen when I put this balloon near the stream of water? Today we're bending water avatar style with a balloon. Last time we staticked up this balloon with the most powerful tool on earth, my hair. And just like my hair after an ill-advised tramp, this balloon is about to attract some attention. How cool is that? Here's how it happened. When you rub a balloon on an object like your hair or your very professional blazer, one object is gonna lose electrons to another. So the balloon gained electrons and became negatively charged during that interaction. Water is neutral, meaning it's made up of both negative and positive particles. The positive ones will move towards the balloon's negative ones since <laughs> negative and positive charges are attracted to each other. Ain't that the truth? So then the balloon then attracts this water, which reaches out for the eternal, where's my hug? And now I will use this magic wand to manipulate water. Okay, well the guy who sold me this is gonna have a big warranty to honor. 